Hello beautiful people, my name is Naila, your host for The Art of Living Show. Our guest today is a healthcare professional. She has 16 years of experience. She is a mother of two and recently she left Ikevia company. She held a position as the general manager. She is resilient, hardworking, forward thinking. Her story goes from caterpillar into a butterfly. She is none other than Carol Banks. She invites us to her beautiful space to have a look around and to have a conversation. Let's discover, explore, and engage. Hello. Hi, How, How are you? you? I'm good. How good are you? I'm good, good, thank you. Good to see you too. You look amazing. So do you. Is it, is it, um, Fabulous Miss Banks. <laughs> Should I say that? Well, you can say that. This is for you. Oh, thank you so I hope you love plants. I do. Thank you for opening your space to us. You're so welcome. Yeah. You're, you're welcome. Oh my goodness, is this your space? Yes, right you away. have good taste. Oh, thank you. Wow, I love it. I love it. I love how you've mixed colors, textures. Yeah. Um, so did you decorate the house yourself or you got somebody to do it for you? Myself. Really? Yes. You have good taste. Thank you. So where did you buy your furniture from? So I, I have not loyalty to one place. Okay. So the couch, the table, this unit and the bookshelf. Okay, so from one of the stores, one of the stores. local stores. Local stores, mm -hmm. and then... I, I, and the, what, what I like about this is the fact that it's transparent. Yes. And you can actually move around the little... This uh -huh. is my way of doing it. Yeah. The, the seller mm -hmm. does it this other way. So it looks like you've got two in one. Okay. But I find it more fancy when I turn Put it, it around. around it shows that, you know, a lot of people think it's just one table. Yes. The other way. So yes. I like to do it this way so people know they can pull them. I like. It yeah. looks like a flower. Beautiful. <laughs> nice. So talk to me about the lighting. Did oh. that come with the holes or? No. Okay. No. So when COVID happened, yes. we were all forced to, to stay at home. Yeah. And I looked around. I was like, this is just a house. Yes. It's not a home. Yes. So some of the changes I did during COVID mm -hmm. were to make it more homely mm -hmm. because I, I realized that we were now spending much more time yes. at home. So more warmth yes. is required. And I also find that this kind of light changes the whole look of the house. I agree. Yeah. It brings warmth. It brings warmth. And makes it very inviting. Exactly. And it's also cozy. I like the yellow cushions, how you've mixed the different three cushions. Mm. Talk to me about the process of decoration plus the carpet. So actually, uh -huh. the, the, the couch came with the other cushions. Okay. Then I added that. The white and I black. added the, the, the mustard gold, the gold oh, one. Okay. And I, I, I really love gold. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I, I find that it, it's got a very, you know, classy look. Yes. And, and the curtains. Yes. And, and the curtain okay. provider and the cushion are actually totally different. Oh, wow. But there's a way you can mix things that they kind of look like they all come from the same place. Yes. yes. But all my pieces come from different providers, oh, all wow. locally sourced. But it's what you really love. It's what I really love. Right? It's so interesting yes. how you can pick different pieces, but when you bring them to the home, they blend perfectly. The fusion is incredible, right? Yeah. yeah. Talk to me about this art piece. So that art piece, mm -hmm. when I saw it, mm -hmm. I knew where it belonged. Okay. From the, the again from one of the shops locally here. Yes. And and the goal for me, it and you see the weather, it's like a wave. Yes. It gives an illusion like it's almost a 3D. Yes. But when you go close, you you realize it's just a, a regular um, canvas yes. or painting. So yes. I I find that it gives some focus on that area okay. because if you look at the rest of the house, it's, it's very easy for you to get glued to one side. Yes. So I thought that place, you know, brings, it, it brings some life. And some character and exactly into that space. Yeah. The wind chairs here match oh. those cushions. I have you noticed? Yes. I like how you've placed them and the layout of your space is yeah. so cool. Thank you. Um, talk to me about the dining table as well. So you bought the dining, the, the wing chairs? Yes. 
I'm seeing the same pattern mm. is on the dining area as well. Yes. <laughs> oh. No relationship at all. You're joking. Yes. Actually, mm -hmm. the wing chairs came with this. Okay. <laughs> yes. And that is separate. The dining, I got it done. Okay. So I actually then I realized that there has to be some level of harmony between my lounge area yes. and the dining because yes. it's one space. So as much as I was introducing something different, I thought, let me also keep some consistency of that they're related. It's okay. the same house. It's the same house. So I, I picked the fabric for the two seats mm -hmm. to kind of have some... Blend with these cushions yes. and the wing chairs. Exactly. I love it. And the mirror as well. Thank you. That looks amazing. Yeah. Right there. Beautifully placed. Thank you so much. I see you're a reader. You're an avid reader. Yes. Right? I read. I read every day, actually. Um, okay. I do a chapter or two. Okay. So I, I wake up very early. Okay. So five, I'm out. Mm -hmm. Exercise right mm -hmm. outside here. Mm -hmm. And then when I'm done, between mm -hmm. six and seven, before my son gets ready for school, mm -hmm. I pray and I read. Fantastic. So I love reading because... I, I feel like it's an eye opener. Um, it it kind of helps you, you know, figure out so many things in life yes. that would never be taught in a school. I agree. They say if you want to hide something from an African, hide it in a book. So Is I that true? To do it differently. I don't know, but I don't think so because I'm an African and I read. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. And you have some accolades. I want to talk about the accolades. <laughs> What's one of the most memorable uh, accolades there that uh, speaks so volumes for you? Again, it's just my recent, I just left Icubia. Yes. And what they wrote here yes. really touched me because when you are employed, yeah. you're working and you're getting paid. I agree. So sometimes the assumption is, oh, you know, they're paying me. So, But they said in recognition of my nine years of outstanding leadership, dedicated service, hard work and remarkable contribution, this really touched me. Wow. It was given to me by my boss. Wow. And I really felt like this is a huge achievement. Yes. I know being a top 40 and a 40 is an achievement. Absolutely. But I feel like being recognized by an organization like IQVIA is also a really big deal. I totally agree with you. Yeah. That is awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. The yeah. TV stand looks really amazing Thank and you. the animal coverings are spectacular. Thank you. I see you, co you collect them, right? Yes, so, you know, I, I, I like to still be African. You yes. know, there's a lot of, my space is not really African. Yeah. But I'm like, whenever I'm hosting people and I've been hosting people from all over the world, yes. I, I, when, when they see this, yeah. they also think about, you know, kind, where they are. Yeah, where they are. And they, they actually buy. So it's also a way of, I love Kenya. <laughs> Okay. It's also a way of, of enticing people to yes. buy Kenya. Yes. So like that's why I have this. And I can tell you, mm -hmm. most of the people I host or yes. I hang out with here, uh -huh. they carry animals back. Oh, nice. I've even replaced several of them okay. where I, like, I gift and then I, I just do it again. Oh, wonderful, yes. wonderful. That's really cute. It looks amazing. Thank and you. And you do a lot of travel because I'm seeing lots of uh, memorabilia up there. Yes. What, what, what's your favorite destination? to choose yeah i i love south africa okay <laughs> but um india uh -huh. i went to india that's the taj mahal okay there uh -huh. and then of course Bari. yes and, and that's the the eiffel tower right naila yes i have not offered you anything since we started talking please allow no me to get you sure to drink. thank you that would be You're very welcome. kind thank okay. you very much okay. i hope you will enjoy my coke i do Thank you, thank you. Yes, yes, yes sure, sure. sure. Oh, thank you very much. Yes. And by the way, mm -hmm. Coca Cola are running a promo. By the way, pour yourself. Oh, wow. Some. Yes. I didn't know. And when you buy two liters, mm -hmm. 1.25 liters of Coca-Cola, Sprite, or Fanta, yeah. you stand a chance to win one year food shopping. Hmm. <laughs> yes, vouchers, cash prizes, airtime, wow. and shopping vouchers. So this code right here, mm -hmm. you send it to 40111. 40111. Yes. I have to do it as soon as I'm done with you. 
right please yeah. do we could do with a bit of shopping I the whole it. year isn't it yes. to good life and new beginnings for especially. you especially <laughs> right congratulations very oh. bold for you to say you're done with your work and yeah yes, i am yes um, but I, I i feel like the, the next phase of my life will be very impactful so i am very excited i know yes. you evolved like a caterpillar i'm telling you did you read my story naila well <laughs> that's what i do best <laughs> <laughs> all right let's go oh yeah. your console table here looks mm. lovely and it's glamorous thank you oh i like this this is very different and unique from what i've seen before mm. yeah i actually got it done no way yes so this was done in kenya by a kenyan so i saw it Ooh. some kenyan like i like it yeah so it's it's from one of the big big stores okay but when i saw it mm -hmm. they said oh well we didn't ha they didn't have it so i said i gave them the the you know exactly what i thought mm -hmm. and they did it and it's the same people that did this awesome so that's why it, so this is handmade yes it's handmade. that is they're so actually cool. handmade. kenyans very nice yeah how big is your house by the way <laughs> Well, so it's a five bedroom house, but we only use like two. Okay. So I'll show you the, the I'll show you the space. It's, it's like a townhouse? Yes, it is. It is a townhouse. It okay. is a townhouse and we have a family room, which really I just let my son use because I want to use my space for adult conversation. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, so he'll play his games up there and then I get to do my thing here. I can't wait to see it. And I'm ready to show you. Thank you. My goodness. So like Super. I told you, yeah. mm -hmm. down is uh -huh. my place. Yes. So I, I'm here with my son. Okay. Because the sister is away in school. Okay. So this is his room. All right. He's allowed to have his friends. Uh -huh. P.S. What? Five. Whoa. So then I can have my piece and he can have his space. This is his space. This is his space. And I made it dark enough. He can feel like he's in a movie theater. Put off the lights. Yes. And he and does. enjoy it. himself. Yes. I like the seat. Mm. I like the colors, the flowers. It's very unique and different. Thank you. Susili so locally. Yes. Had it, you had it made? Yes, made locally. Actually, uh -huh. these seats are older than my son. So Ooh. what I did when we were moving here, yes. I just reupholstered them. Ah, I yes. see. Yes, that's yes, a great to idea. Just give them, yeah, to to give it a bit of oomph. Yes, an oomph and to fit in to I the environment. It. Yes. I love yeah. it. I really, really like this, by the way. Thank it's you. Beautiful, it looks amazing. Thank you, Naila. Oh, yeah. I like this huge window. Here, yeah. yes. you get a view of the trees. Exactly. It's very relaxing. Yeah. And I like the fact that it brings in air into yes. your space as well. Exactly. Into and the it, staircase. Exactly, and it's tinted. So oh, yeah. you can see them, but they can't see you. I like that. Yeah. You can peep through and see. You can peep through and see what's going on. And your kids, if they're lying to you, if they're around. Exactly. <laughs> Especially. Yeah. Especially the boy. Yes. Nice. Yes. Oh, I really like your space. Thank you, Naila. Thank you. Yeah. So, I'm going to show you my room now. Okay. I hope you will like it. This is extra. <sighs> <laughs> Magnificent. Oh, thank you. Naya. Completely glorious. This is my little hiding place. What? I like, love it. <laughs> thank you, Naila. I love the space, the gray and the cream on the walls. Yeah. Oh, it allows you to think. It does. And just imagine yourself being extra. Yes. With the jacuzzi calling your name. I'm telling you, it, you, you we all need some level of motivation. And this space motivates me, Naila. I would not lie to you. 
Did you have an interior designer help you create the space? I like the fact that it's very spacious as well. It really is. Right? Yeah, it really is. Yeah. I, I did get a bit of help, especially with this design. Okay. Uh, there's a friend of mine that helped me. Mm -hmm. uh, the bed is on its own, okay. uh, so I bought the bed from one of the... Stools. They promise back whatever whatever yes but then i did the the headboard was done by a very young kenyan guy okay and also this was also done by another young man all right i tried to promote young people you you have most of your stuff is custom made most I've of my noted stuff it's custom yeah. made yeah okay yeah and then your walk-in closet right there calling your name <laughs> tempting you that <laughs> place yes i see it with my very very close friends when they visit yes we we call it our small little gossip room and the screen right there this screen has a story uh -huh. i never believed in having a tv in the bedroom okay. but then i realized that when i watch tv downstairs i fall asleep so i decided to fall asleep in the right place I, I, whether the lights are on or not i just will sleep it's fine exactly yeah. Uh, so what did you like most about this house? The, the, the builder definitely was very generous with space. Right now in Nairobi, it's very hard to find this kind of generosity. Yes. But the bathroom, it's like a bedroom on its own. It's really like huge. It's huge. Yes. And then I also loved the fact that, you know, it's a quiet neighborhood. Yes. And there are trees. Birds wake me up. Don't you just want to stay in her room? You've inspired all of us too. I'm happy I have. Yeah, so uh -huh. I think we should have a quick bite. Thank you. It's been a minute. Yeah. And I'm sure you must be hungry by now. So welcome. Thank you very much. Ooh. What a beautiful uh -huh. setup. Thank you. Thanks to Kristen. Do you cook? I do. Right? Yes. And I, I like I... your kitchen. Thank you. I cook and when I do, I put, oh, the love it, the food. Yeah. So one of these days, mm -hmm. please go ahead. Thank you. One Thank of you these days, much. I will make you something all right i'll start i'll start myself with the salad so, so you were the managing director for nine years what did that experience teach you wow managing people which is not easy okay yeah it's uh -huh. not easy uh -huh. but the joy of seeing people grow okay kept me going okay and also you know adding value to mm -hmm. healthcare mm -hmm. ecosystem mm -hmm. is another thing that really you know kept me going okay i was general manager for about four and a half or five years mm -hmm. and uh, before then i literally started the company operations from scratch unbelievable yeah what inspired you to be who you are today oh my goodness i think i would say it's wanting more Please dig in and Thank you. salad Thank dressing, you yeah? Yeah. It's really just wanting more for myself. Mm -hmm. And then I like fine things in life. Okay. And that means I must work really hard. Speaking of which, <laughs> yes. working hard, mm. you're writing a book. I am. Talk to me about your book. So my book is really, I, I want to tell my story. Okay. But then I realized that I can't just tell my story using my voice. Mm -hmm. I have to have a base of telling a story. Mm. So I, I, I have, sorry, mm -hmm. <laughs> spoke to a few people and mm -hmm. I realized that my journey has been full of resilience, hard work and consistency and really remaining in the straight and narrow, if I may put it that way. And so I, I decided, you know, straight and narrow equals to being ethical. I so I'm writing about ethical leadership. Okay. And the book is actually going to be available on Amazon on the, by the 15th of June. Oh, wow. Yes. And okay. I'm sure by end of June, I should have the physical copies of the book. What's the title of the book? It's actually Ethical ethical Leadership. Okay. Creating a culture of, of, of um, oh my God, it, it's a mouthful. So it's creating a culture of responsibility. I hope to have a book launch. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'm also looking actively looking for a partner. Mm -hmm. it, it, it was such a huge investment, by the way. Yes, I can only Because imagine. I'm not a writer, so of course I didn't write the book. Okay. But uh, for the book to be done, it, it costs money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think your story is very inspiring. Uh, from a bedside nurse, mm. you rose up into this big company to be the general manager. Right. And then now you left that job. Nine oh. years later, you're yeah. writing a book. You want to inspire young people. Yeah. And have you done this alone? Because 
sometimes you know that support also can help you to get to where you are that's right so yeah was was married for 17 years okay and uh, during covid a lot of things happened mm -hmm. so one of the things that happened to me mm -hmm. which i know it's i'm not the only one i'm mm -hmm. not a victim mm -hmm. i did lose my marriage actually during covid okay and so it's been a transition with my children mm -hmm. figuring things out mm -hmm. and getting to do it but and look what happened were things bad then or it was just triggered no, mm -hmm. I think it's just an accumulation of things that you ignore and ignore and ignore and eventually the rain was beating us definitely working. Okay. Yeah. You're inspiring young moms out there. What would you tell young mothers mm. who are bringing up their families on their own? Um, it's difficult obviously mm. to run a home, to mm. run a company. What one advice can you tell them? It can be done. Okay. Be consistent. Yeah. Focus on one thing that you're good at. Yes. And really get it done. Okay. For STEM girls, here is an icon. She's phenomenal. I believe that you have learned one or two things from her. Other than her, you know, writing her book, what she says is you have to be resilient. You have to be good at what you do and you have to be consistent. You don't have to have shortcuts. Mm. Just go for it continue to evolve yeah. like she has exactly. now i have good news for you guys as always coca-cola is running the undercup campaign and all you need to do is buy two liters or 1.25 liters of coke sprite or fanta hmm. i'll demonstrate that for you allow me to what soda should i open I think let's keep stick to the cook. We stick to the cook. Mm, cook. We don't mix drinks, no? Yes. <laughs> let's stick to the cook. So all you need to do is you don't want to lose this opportunity to win one ear food shopping. Airtime, cash prices, shopping vouchers. All you need to do is send this code to 40311 and you stand to win the amazing prizes. Thank you guys for watching. This has been amazing experience. Her house is complete, it's, um, it's beautiful, it's exquisite, eclectic. And follow me at Miss Nyland Tei across all platforms, Katie and Home underscore across all platforms. And thank you so much for watching and God bless you. Remember, good luck. <laughs>